from the Chief Security Officer, CSO, to the late Head of State, General Sonia Bacha, Major Hamza Al-Mustafa, retired, has emerged as the presidential candidate of the Action Alliance, AA, in the 2023 general elections. Major Al-Mustafa emerged victorious on Thursday in Abuja after defeating another contestant, Samson Odupiton, after two other aspirants, Felix Osakwe and Tunde Kelani, withdrew from the race and pledged their support to him. Here's more on the story. The Action Alliance Party held its special convention on Thursday in Abuja to elect the flag bearer for the presidential election in 2023. Chairman of the AA, Kenneth Udeze, while addressing the delegates, said 842 delegates were accredited to elect the four flag bearers using option A4. Since it is no longer hidden that PDP and his brother ABC have collectively failed Nigerians, there is urgent need to look for an alternative route to salvage the sinking nation. That is why we have to elect a credible flag bearer for our party today. I want to advise all the aspirants to show majority, sportsmanship, and loyalty to our party. We all lose. We are, we are all wrong. I therefore urge all the delegates to mindfully elect a worthy representative as our party flag bearer today. At the convention, the aspirants made their arguments for their candidacy. During the course of the proceedings, aspirants stepped down for a fellow contestant. We are here to serve and to make sacrifices that no one can quantify. My profession does not allow me to eulogize myself. But all I know how to give in leadership is my entire self for this country to be. May Nigeria be, may this exercise be. My name is Hamza Al-Mustafa. I want humility to rule. I am talking to the delegates. If you do not find me worthy, if you don't find me as a worthy ambassador, one of the reasons that brought me into this illustrious party is when we sat down and re-examined and examined totally of all the parties in Nigeria. By the grace of God, I will steer the leadership of this party to an envious situation that this party will rule for many years. Whatever the result of the situation will be, there must always be one leader. And I tell you that the spirit of horsemanship has always been in me and will never demand from me. Today, we are not here to buy the conscience of anyone. A man that will buy your conscience will also rule you as a slave. But we are here to serve this country. And we are here to serve with all our hearts. We are here to announce to you that as the Almighty God liveth, there is going to be hope again because God is going to appoint someone from Action Alliance to move this nation forward. Today, I joined this party on six, and I've done it before as candidates. But today, I feel strongly, and I look around, I saw that one of the aspirants, with due respect to other aspirants, ask more people, and we, are going to, we have to work together. And in this way, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Nigerians, I will ever wish to step down for the most popular candidates and Mustafa. <laughs> The chief security officer to the late head of state general Sani Abacha, Major Hamza Al-Mustafa, retired, polled 506 votes to defeat Odupitan, his opponent who got 215 votes. 215 votes and the winner of this contest and the flag bearer to be of this very party Alaji Hamza and Mustafa got a total of 506 votes and by virtue of this very result, I hereby declare Alhaji Hamza and Mustafa the winner of this contest and the special partner of Action Alliance for the presidential election in 2023 general election. In his acceptance speech, the retired major vowed to fix the nation. Every Nigerian, wherever you are, wherever she is, wherever he is, wherever they are, 
you must get your PVC ready. We must draw a demarcation from yesterday's West. We must draw a demarcation and draw a line that will help this country come out of the woods, come out of the dirty, smelly, muddy, murky waters of democracy our democratic vehicle has gotten stopped in. We have to step out of there. We must chart a new course. We must have a leadership that cares for the people. We have to be seen to look at all qualities of leadership, enter into new political lab laboratory, leadership laboratories, and identify young talents among us and entrust them to be. Money is not the identity of seeking for leadership. It's the corrupt side of it. Money is an opportunity. We have a place to change. When tomorrow comes, our names will go in history, imprinted pretty well. We shall head our head hell high, looking at our younger ones to know the world is now in Nigeria. May we be that force. May Action Alliance be the platform. And may all of you Nigerians, irrespective of whichever party you are, sit down, think, reflect, sympathize with Nigeria. Think God Almighty. Think Nigeria's future. Collect whatever money they give you, but come home to action allowance. Al Mustafa is said to face other candidates, including Atiku Abubakar of the PDP, Bola Tenebu of the APC, Peter Obi of Labour Party, Adewole Adebayo of the SDP, Kwan Kwaso of the NNPP, and others.